The extract function refactoring for JavaScript and TypeScript extracts the selected block of code to either a function or a method. You can use this to both organize your code and then also make blocks of code reusable. So you can go and reuse these methods in other locations and can remove some duplication. Now in this TypeScript file, for example, you can say I have this kind of gnarly block of code here. And say I wanted to extract this out. All I have to do is go and select the block. So I'll go in here. And you can see how this little light bulb that now shows up after making the selection. That is indicating that there are code actions available. I can go and click on this light bulb, and you can see that one of the code actions is extract to function in module scope. So when I run this, you can see that VS Code has taken that selected block of code and extracted it down to a new function down here. And that function is currently called new function, but it is asking us for a name. So I'm going to call this resolve actions. And you can see that now we have a resolve actions function. It is taking the following parameters. So VS Code basically looked at the block of selected text, was able to see what parameters were getting passed in and needed to be passed to this new function here, and was able to create this function based on that. And it has a nice signature here, and it even has the re return type. So you can see that resolving here has been set to the result of resolve actions here, because that is the value that was actually being used as a result of this extraction. Now, of course, this also works for methods. So I'm just going to go up here, and let's find a class here. So we have the code action item. Let's actually go down here to this other class. And currently, I'm in a class. And let's say I wanted to extract out this merge sort logic. So I'm going to go and select this. And now I'm going to, again, go to the little light bulb over here. You can also use control period or command period to trigger the light bulb. And now I can say extract to method in class, or I could extract to a function in the module scope. So now VS Code is offering two options here. Now we're able to extract to a function because there are no dependencies on the this variable here. But sometimes this option will not be available when you're working inside of, cla of a class if there are dependencies on the this uh, property. So I'm going to do extract to method. And now we're going to call this new method sort. And you can see that we now have a new sort method that has been extracted down here. Again, TypeScript has gone and filled in all of the parameters here and the return types. And you can see that we are now calling sort to generate the property name that we were using before. We were able to now reuse this code. And it also kind of documents the intent of this code a little bit better. Extract function and extract method, of course, also work in JavaScript files. And if you find yourself using them often, then you can set up a key binding for these as well. So you can just press a key binding and we go and extract a function or method.